Hi guys, Mr. Edget here. Um, just wanted to reach out to you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions about what's going on for next week and the weeks that are to come. Um, next week we're still reviewing. So anything that the kids are doing on IXL currently, again, it is voluntary. They would just continue to work through IXL. And then starting that following week, uh, Monday, April 13th, is when things aren't gonna be voluntary, it's gonna be mandated. So what I want to do is I have everything laid out. I just wanted to explain to you guys what that would look like. So I'm on the Boyertown uh, web page right now. What the kids want to do, and I have another video that's going to show them how to get into Google Classroom and how to get into Khan. But just to refresh, the kids would go down here to the G and they would click Google Apps. That would take them to the district login. The reason that it didn't take me to the district login is because I am already logged in. Um, from their email, they'll want to click this three digit by three digit waffle, I call it, and they'll want to go to classroom. And again, I have another video that explains this, so don't panic. Um, I'm just refreshing back here just so that they're aware of it. They would go to edit. And what they're gonna have in here is I'm gonna have everything listed out for the whole week. So a lot of them right now you can see down here, they're just reaching out to each other. I wanted to get some conversation going to see what people been up to. This is the stream on Google Classroom. Um, so you can see a lot of the kids are already familiar with Google Classroom and familiar with the platform itself. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the assignment posted in here and I don't have it posted in here right now because I don't want them to see it. I just want to give you guys a view or a taste of what it would look like. So I'm going to show you the document that I created. So I have April 13th through the 17th right here. Again, this will be posted on Google Classroom. So they'll go in here and they'll say, Monday, I need to spend some time on Khan Academy. I need to spend some time on IXL. And I'm also going to say if they don't want to do IXL, they can work in Zern. And the kids work in Zern every day, so that's something that they're familiar with. When they're finished this, the more fun programs are Freckle or Legends of Learning. Again, the kids know about both of those, so I'm going to use those as a follow-up at the end of the lesson. Um, for Khan Academy, that's where we're primarily learning the new material for math. So in Google Classroom, there's going to be a link, and I don't have it here again because I don't want to show everybody just yet. Um, there's going to be a link where they can click, and it'll bring them to Khan Academy. So I'm just going to type it in here. And what it's going to look like when they're in there is we're going to be in Module 4. So I'm just going to give you a snippet of what that would look like. So what the students would be doing is they'd be looking at the schedule. Okay, for Monday, I need to watch this 12 minute video. And they would go under here, right here. And I assign all of this, this is the teacher view. So once I do, this is the first thing that's gonna show up for them. So there's no way that they can go out of order. It's gonna force that order. So they're not gonna have all of this here. So they'll look Monday, I need to watch the 12 minute video. Here's a video explaining different geometry terms. And Khan Academy will walk you through all of the terminology, um, basically the mini lesson itself. The kids can pause it, they can think about it. If they wanna go back and rewatch something, they can go back. If you wanna fast forward, you can fast forward. Um, so that would be basically kind of like the mini lesson. It's all going to be spelled out for them. They can take it at their own pace. Um, you don't have to complete Monday's schedule here. On Monday, you know, if you have errands to run or somebody else needs to use the computer that day, don't panic. You don't have to do this on Monday. I'm just spelling everything out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Basically, I just want it completed by the end of the week. So if you want to do Monday and Tuesday on Tuesday, 
you know, you want to do 10 a.m. to say 1 p.m. or you want to break it up and have lunch, that's completely fine. This is really so that you can work at your own pace. So if they were to go back into Khan Academy, they would watch that video and then they would just go to the next thing. The next thing is just a three minute short video on lines and line segments and then seven questions based on that video that they just watched about lines and line segments. So when they click that and they get into the questions themselves, I'm going to click student view. You know, which of these is a line and it's multiple choice. And if you're stuck, wait, I can't remember what is a line down here. It says watch a video or use a hint. Um, the kids have used Khan Academy in my class at the beginning of the year, so they might be a little bit familiar with it. The good thing is, is I use other math software programs that the kids are really used to. So a lot of this, and like I said, I'm forcing the order and it's self-paced. Um, I think the biggest hurdle will just be logging into the program itself initially. And I had told a couple other students, a lot of these kids do this in my class. If you use Google Chrome, so you look down here, it's got the red, the green, and the yellow, that's Google Chrome. When you log into something, it'll ask you, do you want to save this password? And a lot of the kids know what I'm talking about. If they click save, they'll never have to remember that password again. And up here, you can see all of my bookmarks. A lot of the kids do that too. They'll probably want to bookmark Khan Academy, um, bookmark Zern. And again, I'm going to spell all of that out in Google Classroom. It's just that we've been getting a lot of questions about what is this online learning going to look like. I just wanted to put some people at ease, give them just a small snippet of really what we're going to be doing. And again, it's all self-paced. So don't worry about completing a whole day within that day. You know, it's whenever suits you, whenever fits you and your family. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to email me, um, call me. For now, again, don't worry about this. I just wanted to give you a small example of what it would look like. We're not, I won't even really be sending this out until later next week because we're not going to start until Monday, April 13th. I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of the week.